winter reflections with the posh winter tree stamps. So we have uh, two sizes of stamps and some eclipse masking tape. So we're just doing a strip across the middle and we're going to take our two trees and then we're going to work with the distress oxides in pairs of colours. So we always start with the lightest colour at the top and then we're going to take a darker shade and blend in from the bottom. So the tree, the trees that we're doing today are pinks and purples. A couple of spritzes and then stamp the first one and if it's wet enough stamp again if not add a little more water. The smaller tree is going underneath the masking tape for our reflection. So we'll clean off those colours and we'll move on to the next pairing. If you want to see the colours go back to the beginning of the video and pause and you'll be able to read all the names on the ink pads. So same thing blending up with the bottom colour spritzing with a little bit of water two spritzes should be sufficient and then you can see we're stamping each one twice so we've got lots of different shading going on to create our forest and we've used six different distress oxides on this card so now we're going to go with the final pairing Now we can remove the masking tape and you can see the reflection effect. So we're going to now stamp some words in that space that we've created when we're using Christmas wishes. So we're going with the black ink to give it some good contrast. And then some little washi tape. This is a sparkly pink washi tape to create the borders around our words. So you just wrap that around because it's sticky. And a little bit of stickles on the treetops just for some glistening snow effect maybe. After we've done our stickles, we just need to leave everything to dry for five to ten minutes before we can layer it all together for the final finish. <laughs> 